Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and today it is a Geek Fuel box again. Well, yeah, it's just another Geek Fuel box. Uh, I'm, I'm still curious as to wonder, well, thinking it might have gone off somewhere else again. I'm going to be sorting that out soon, but I'm not entirely sure. It's a bit weird. Um, and apologies if I'm really white and ghost-like looking. Uh, unfortunately, the light that I usually have behind the camera to make me myself, rather than just a stupid light up here, uh, kind of got broken, so I can't use it. Uh, but anyway, carrying on. Geek Fuel, let's get it going. We're going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside. We can't really see much from that, can you? Uh, oh, there's a Mario. So... Keep your power. Nostalgic. Okay, so I'm guessing it's nostalgic or something. So, what's it say on there? So, Geek Fuel Power, issue number 20, obviously. Only issue number 20. Am I already only that far into it? Anyway. Uh, Everyday Essentials, X Men, find them all. How we get Harley. Giant space creatures are out to get you. This month's hottest games. What's old is new again. Cool. So I'm going to put that there for a moment and we'll get back to that. Uh, let's see that. Uh, this is the game. This little box here. So it is Black Sea Odyssey. Mm. So what's this little thing? This, there's a, a little thing else in it. It's a little ball with some kind of creature in it. I'm guessing something to do with the Black Sea. What's it, what's it all about anyway? Uh, what does it say about it? Enter a vast chasm between space and time bring them brimming with colossal creatures and ru runic technologies it's kind of bugging me like let me get that down there that's better uh, once a decade the greatest huntsman in the un in universe gathered to complete sorry I saw a flicker on my screen I thought something happened to the oh I look a little bit less white okay uh, well there was a uh, gathered to complete, compete in a legendary tournament known as the Black Sea Odyssey. Steeped in blood, ancient treasure, and a, a madness that wills them to delve deeper into the Black Abyss, these huntsmen compete for a chance to claim the ultimate glory of facing a creature of such insatiable ferocity and mag magnanium. I can't read that. Magnanimous. Magnanimous? Magnanimous. As in, like, magnanimous size. That makes sense. That is, its wingspan has been said to stretch across galaxies while its beneath breath consumes black holes, a creature rumoured to exist only in legend, the Titan of the Stars. Cool. And it's a sticky star. That's what's in this thing. So if I open it up, it's kind of like a Pokeball kind of thing. If I can get it. I don't want to break it, though. That's the thing. I think it just comes out. Or does it twist? I think it just comes out. Hang on. You don't twist. Do you just pop? You pop. There we go. Cool. And it's um, a sticky star. So this is a sticky thing. I suppose you just sort of fling it and stick it at things. So if I was just to just go... Yeah, it's, it sticks. You can see that? It's sticking to my PC. Cool. Okay. Bit of a random thing. But I suppose it will make more sense when it comes to actually playing the game, which at some point I will probably, because you've probably noticed I've started doing a um, let's try my Steam library uh, session of games. So you, actually, you might I have played a couple of them. I played uh, they're on there. I can actually see there was Badlands, I believe, Dinoside, Elliot Quest. All three of those came in this box, I believe. So I have tried out a few games. You probably won't have seen all of them yet. You probably won't have seen Dinoside or Elliot Quest, maybe. One of those two. But uh, that can go back in there. And the game code's on the back there, so I can get that sorted. And that will become one of them. Uh, we've got the t-shirt. Let's get the t-shirt out. For once, it has a label on it. Wow. So it's X-Men Apocalypse. Look for it on Blu-ray and DVD and digital... HD, when's it come out? Because that would be awesome. Because I do need to watch it still. So what's it look like? 
It's uh, X Men Apocalypse. It's got uh, Apocalypse, and I'm assuming the Four Horse. No, Magneto, Psylocke. What's the other two? Cyclops. Let me read it from the front. It might be easier to read. So we so, so Apocalypse in the in the middle. Psylocke on the left there, Magneto on the right, Cyclops, Professor X, and Beast. Which is an interesting set. No Wolverine, but then I suppose that's how it is. Uh, do I want to... It's a tag, it's fine. It's a t-shirt. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to take tag off. Take that off. It's going to fit me, because it should do. Do that. And we're going to put the t-shirt on. I'm wearing my chippy shirt today, because I couldn't find any... Well, I ran out of all my other shirts. Because... I was very busy last week and wasn't able to do my washing before this. It's currently doing it now, or rather, not just finished. Not that you really need to know that. But yeah, it's a cool, pretty cool t-shirt. I quite like that. It's definitely one I'm going to be wearing again. I always wear mine. We have a Geek Fuel sticker. I'm pretty sure that's a sticker. So that will be going somewhere. I may put it somewhere like that, just to, as promotion sort of thing. That can go there for now. Uh, what have we got here? Mallet of Mischief. Inflatable toy. I have an inflatable mallet. Oh, it's. I'm not going to blow this thing up. I haven't got the puff for this right now, but it's it's an inflatable mallet. Just that's just completely random. Is there any link? Anything like better about it? Is is this geeky at all? Is there anything special about it? Because I don't get the reference of this. Or maybe I will. It was a mallet, so what's... It's one of those cross ones, isn't it? Oh, blimey. Uh, unfold like that. Yeah, it's just that. And you know how it looks like when it's blown up, obviously. I'm not going to do that, though, because... That's... Uh, kind of a bit, kind of... Not quite the sort of thing that I'm that interested in. If I had any kids that liked that sort of thing, then yeah, I would give it to them, but I don't, so that's going to probably go in a box that's just not so cool. <laughs> the stuff that I'm not so keen on, and I will pass on somehow to someone, somehow, eventually. Uh, I'm looking a bit small in my screen because I've fallen away from it. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to put this back in. I can do that later. It's fine. So we've got this thing. I don't know if this is important. This I'm assuming is a poster. We're in a. I'm assuming it's Harley Quinn. From what I've read, just because of things. Uh, made in China, yeah, of course. So I'm going to assume it's uh, something to do with Harley Quinn because of what I've already read and just yeah. So Harley, Harley's little Harley's little black book. Superman. Harley and Superman? Oh, it's two posters. Okay. So we got this edition. We got a Super Harley Quinn's little black book and Superman there. And on this side there is the Justice League, which has Batman, Robin, Superman, Flash. Okay, I'm not entirely sure because there looks like two Robins. I don't know which. Oh, well, wait. This I was thinking Robin, but then there's the one below Batman that looks like a Robin. I'm not so good on the. Um, I'm not so good on Justice League, so I don't know the rest of them. And I'm, I'm assuming there is nothing on the other sides of these. Oh no, there is. So we can get more. It's a little bit beat up this, though. Or is it supposed to be unfolded? Unfolded. Might be because it's supposed to be unfolded. I don't know. There is a Batman one. And there is a Wonder Woman one. I think these are kind of like covers. Book covers. And then they're kind of rolled. It's a little bit beat up though. This one seems to be. But yeah, that's that. Quite like that. Let's get back. Now. So what's this? This is... Oh. Well, this is practical. I think. Classic cutting board. It's, it's a cutting board. What kind of classic cutting board do you mean? I shall find out if it opens up. There we go. Is it like food cutting board? Because can't go wrong with that. 
like so. Opens up like so. And we got that. And um, light knife series. So yeah, obviously there's no knife in it. I'm guessing because sometimes this can be for kids. But oh, oh, I get it now. I'm pretty sure. Look very closely at that design. Taken particularly a fact of like that. If I put that in its position again, and look at this shape and the design of it. Can you get what it is yet? I'm not going to tell you until the end when I actually go through the things. But so have a guess. Leave a comment down below of what you think it is before I reveal, and um, I shall tell you then. So we got the shirt there. We're gonna. So X-Men Apocalypse, we've harnessed the power of the most capable mutants from the X-Men Apocalypse film to give you this exclusive licensed tea. Join the team and rock your favourite mutants in style. So that's that, like so. And then on the back here we've got the downloadable Steam game, which is the Black Sea Odyssey. Once a decade, and yeah, let's do that again. Black Sea Odyssey Sticky Star, where you can't count the number of times we've wanted to swing a hook and capture a little bit of evil. It turns out that's highly illegal. Second best is this weapon of the sticky sword. Interesting. So, mallet of mischief. Oh, it's from Miss Harley's, of course. That's what the mallet is. Okay. Makes sense now. So, uh, so you want to break some thighs. Uh, Harley's signature smasher is ready to take on everything under the sun or darkness of night with only half the harm. Had I watched the film, I might have realised what it was, but I can't, haven't watched the film yet because I didn't get a chance to. So, exclusive DC colouring posters. Oh, they're supposed to be for colouring. Ever wish you were a comic book illustrator? Now you can bring that dream to life with these exclusive DC Universe colouring colouring posters of four of the most important covers ever. You get none of the stressful deadlines and all of the fun. Yep, that's that. It doesn't say about the sticker. The, the the sticker which has disappeared up there it doesn't say about this on it but and nostalgic everyday essentials classic cutting board keep it classic in the kitchen with this retro cartridge cartridge cutting board perfect for chopping veggies like a ninja gaiden as in if I turn it round and you look closely at the nostalgic it's very reminiscent of the Nintendo logo, maybe? Question mark? It's it's like a logo for a game of a cartridge. Maybe Sega. No, not Sega. But yeah, it's it's a cartridge. It's the shape of a cartridge. It's awesome. And I like the the, the fact of it's got like its own game thing on it. That's just like I love that. It's that's awesome. I'm definitely going to be Definitely going to be using it, or do I want to keep it in one piece? Do I want to make it damaged? It smells as well. It smells of... I thought it smelled of cheese, which is like, you've already been using it for cheese, people. Uh, and that's the box empty. The box is empty. So, that is an awesome little box again. Absolutely love this little cutting board, it's awesome. Oh, oh I've missed it, I've missed a bit, I forgot about the book. Let's see what's in the book this time. So, keep it classic in the kitchen. Yep, cutting board. So we got some Harley Quinn stuff and bits and bobs. Let's turn it around. Can you actually see that? Let's make sure you can see as well as me. So we got the X Men Apocalypse and we have a word search. Awesome. I will partake in that at some point. Have a freeze. If I have a free. If I clo cl close up, have a freeze, and then search. Do it yourself. There we go. That was probably enough time for you to do so. Some info on Harley Quinn. Some NES classics. All of our retro game dreams come true. Is this about because of the... Uh, the releasing the game with all of the games on it? Or a new system with all the games on it? I think that might be what that's all about. So, that's that. What games have they got on there? Uh, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Don't really know that one. Don't know that one. Don't know that one. I don't know any of them. 
I wasn't really much of a... I started out on a PlayStation 1, pretty much. And then had a PlayStation 2. And then went for an Xbox 360 and a PS3. And that's about as far as I went with consoles, to be honest. More of a PC person. Right, anyway, Gamer Corner. Uh, new version of... How they look like that. So we've got Rec Recall. Yeah, well, XCOM 2 on the PS4, Bioshock on PC, and something on Steam. Rive. Yeah, I can't. It's really hard to do this from this sort of point. So, we got some Geeky Fuel, Geek Fuel unboxers, some YouTube channels. Don't recognize any of them, but they're all probably cool. So, I'm going to do that so you can have a nice quick read even if it's not too perfect to actually read because it's a bit blurry come on get into the right sort of point have a look through all that so you can have a look at their channels as well you can see some other people's unboxings so we got another one then there's the black sea odyssey game which i've already read about just a bit and then we got some geeky gut stuff snorlax beanbag chair oh my god i would love that that would be awesome uh, Guardians of the Galaxy wall decals, uh, Spider-Man movie bust, Martin McFly hat, not worried about that, a Totoro backpack, Living Dead dolls, Portal bookends, that's pretty awesome as well, Nintendo NES classics book, that's also pretty cool, I hope you can see all this, a PS1 messenger bag, I could have got some of them at Insomnia, could always get some of them at Insomnia, uh, an arrow hoodie with and gloves set, Zelda watch, X-Men wallet, Lord of the Rings, Sting light up sword, I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to stand for, L-O-T-R, Lord of the Rings, uh, Star Wars lightsaber popsicle makers, Adventure Time USBs, uh, Super Mario Run on a, is a game on the thing I think, and then there is the Geek Fuel people, all the other t-shirts people. I'm probably not in it this time because I was too late. So, yep, I'm not in it, but people have done some awesome pictures. Have a look, see. Awesome people. And then that's it for the book. Right, okay, that is that done. Hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly like it. There's awesome poster things, uh, uh, color posters, new game, sticker. Shopping board, awesome. Absolutely. That's just awesome. I love it. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Leave comments below, like I said. Well, you already know what it is now. It's kind of a bit late to do that. Leave another comment below of what you like best about it. Especially that. Uh, and also down below, there is a link to get, if you would like to get these boxes yourself. That would be awesome. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay, hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, that was the other thing. And I shall see you in another video. Bye for now.